We will discuss today about Rectangular Coordinate System or Cartesian Plane. Okay? Uh, yung naka ng Rectangular Coordinate System or Cartesian Plane is René Descartes. Pero it is spelled as René Descartes. Pero pag binasa natin yan, that is René Descartes. Kasi isa siyang French mathematician. So, he invented the Cartesian plane or rectangular coordinate system from the word itself, Cartesian, no? Kasi siya nga ang naka niyan, okay? Now, this is an example of rectangular coordinate system, okay? Uh, meron tayong dalawang lines or dalawang number lines. Yung etong line na to, the horizontal line, and yung nakatayong line, the vertical line. Yung horizontal line, ang tawag dyan ay x-axis. Okay? x-axis. Yung namang uh, vertical line, yung nakatayong line, ang tawag naman dyan ay y-axis. Okay. Now, as you can see, Yung ating rectangular coordinate system is divided into four parts. Okay, we have one, two, three, four. Ang bawat part or region, ang tawag sa kanya ay quadrant. Okay, so when I say quadrant, that is part or region of a Cartesian plane. Okay, so this part, uh, this one, this is quadrant 1. Okay, so this is quadrant 1. Uh, Q na lang lagay natin, quadrant 1. And this part is quadrant 2. Okay, yan yan, buo na to, quadrant 2. And this is quadrant 3. And this is quadrant 4. Okay. So, ano ang purpose ng Rectangular Coordinate System or Cartesian Plane? Napakahalaga ito para malaman yung exact location ng isang lugar, no? Or ng isang bagay, okay, sa mapa. So, meron tayong tinatawag na Ordered Pair or Coordinates. Yan. Or other term for coordinates is Ordered Pair. Okay, I have to correct this one. It's D. Okay, use it lang natin. Uh, coordinates. Okay, example nyan ay, let's say, 2 and 3. Yung first number is what we called the abscissa. Or this is the X coordinate x value. Yung pangalawang number, this is called the ordinate. Okay? And this is uh, the y value or the y coordinate. Now, lahat kasi ng uh, bagay or location sa mapa ay merong coordinates. So, how to plot or to find yung coordinates or ordered pair sa Cartesian plane? Again, let's write uh, our example, we have 2 and 3. Usually, ang isang coordinates or ordered pair is denoted by capital letter. So, let's say 2 and 3 is point A. Okay? Now, yung first number, this is the value of X, or this is the X coordinate, iyan ang hahanapin natin sa ating uh, number line Sa ating x-axis, this is the x-axis. So, tandaan na yung sa ating number line, yung right side ng x-axis are positive numbers, nasa left side are negative numbers. And sa y-axis naman, yung upper part are positive numbers, and yung lower part naman ay mga negative numbers. So, this is uh, infinite. Arrow yan, no? Infinite yan. You can add 7 and 8. But for this example, hanggang 6 lang muna tayo. Okay?
Uh, what we have to do is locate natin muna sa x-axis yung 2. Okay? Yung 2, hanapin natin sa x-axis. Madalas dito nagkakamali, ano? Kasi inuuna nila yung y-axis. So, laging tatandaan, uunahin mo lagi dito sa x-axis. Okay? So, hanapin natin yung positive 2. Okay? Now, this is positive 2. Nandito sa right side. Okay? Then after that, this is uh, the y value or the y coordinate is 3. Yan ang hahanapin mo dito sa y axis. This is positive 3. Then what we're going to do is pagtapatin natin yan. Yan. Okay, ito yung uh, point. This is now the point A. Yan. Let's erase this one. So this is now the, the uh, location of point A. That is how to plot uh, co coordinates. Okay? Now, let's have another one. Let's say point B. Let's say negative 4, positive 4. Again, negative 4 sa x-axis mo hahanapin yan. And since that's negative, nandito yan sa uh, left side. So, ito yung negative 4. Okay? Then, yung positive 4, that is the y coordinate, hanapin mo dito sa upper part kasi positive. Ito yun. So, pagtapatin natin yan, ito ngayon yung ating point B. That is the location of our point B. Okay? Uh, let's have another one. Let's say point C. Let's say negative 1, negative 6. Okay, again, uunahin mo lagi sa x-axis. This is negative 1. Yan. Then, Negative 6 dito sa y-axis, since that's negative, dito ka sa baba. Ito yung ating negative 6. Then, pagtapatin lang natin yan, ito yun. Okay? This is the point C. So, let's erase this. Yan. Uh, let's have another one. Let's say we have uh, 3, negative 4. So, again, hanapin mo yan sa x-axis, yung positive 3. So, ito yung positive 3. Then, negative 4 sa so y-axis, nasa baba since negative. Pagtapatin lang natin yung dalawa, ito na yun. So, this is point D. Okay? So, laging tandaan na lagi mong uunahin. Uunahin mo ang x-axis. Kasi pag inuna mo yung y-axis, Mali na yung location ng coordinate mo. Okay? Now, ito ang tatandaan, no? Kapag ka ikaw ay nagpa-plot, yung ating quadrant 1, ito yon. Ang sign lagi ng quadrant 1 ay positive and positive. Okay? Yung quadrant 2, itong part na to, ang sign lagi niyan ay negative and positive. Okay? And then, yung quadrant 3, so, ang sign lagi ng quadrant 3 ay both negative. Okay? And for quadrant 4, that is positive and negative. So, pagka natandaan mo yan, hindi ka na malilito. Okay? Now, let's have another one. Uh, let's say we have 5 and 3. So, alam mo yan that this is positive and positive, automatic na sa quadrant 1 yan. Okay? So, look for positive 5 sa x-axis. Ito yun. Then, look for positive 3 sa y-axis. Ito yun. Okay? Then, pagtapatin natin, this is the point or the location of point E. Okay? So, that's how to plot coordinates on a Cartesian plane. Okay? Uh, let's have another one. How about if we have 0? 0, 5. Okay, kasi marami rin nalilito dito, no? So, unahin mo si 0 sa, uh, sa x-axis. Ito yung 0. Then, sa so y-axis is 5. Uh, ito yung 5. So, malamang, nandito yung ating point. Okay? 
This is point F. So, an saan quadrant siya matatagpuan? Wala siya sa quadrant. Siya ay nasa y-axis. So, pag tinanong saan, uh, look, uh, saan quadrant or axis matatagpuan yung point F, nasa y-axis. Wala sa quadrant. Okay? Uh, let's have another one. Let's say point G. Ay, sorry. Uh -huh. Point G. Let's say 5, 0. Yung 0 and 5 and 5, 0, magkaiba ng location yan. Okay? Okay, hanapin mo muna si positive 5 sa x-axis. Ito yon. Then sa y-axis naman, 0. So, hindi ka tataas, hindi ka bababa. So, ibig sabihin, nandito mismo. Okay? Sa x-axis, si point G. Kaya pag tinanong ka, sa ang quadrant or axis matatagpuan si point G, nandito siya sa x-axis. Okay, ito ang tatandaan kasi maraming nalilito dito, no? Kapag nauna ang 0, that is y-axis. Bago yung uh, non-zero number. Pero pagka pangalawa yung 0, iyan ay nasa x-axis. Okay? So, kasi maraming nalilito yan. And by the way pala, yung ating gitna. Yan, yung gitna natin na na point is what we call the origin. Ang tawag dyan ay origin. And ang coordinate ng origin ay 0 and 0. Okay? 